Welcome back, I am Dr. Ruckus, and today we are playing Bant Humans in Mythic Standard. Uh, pretty similar to Mono White Humans, just with a little more pizzazz in there. We get to run Denek, a 2-mana 2-3 with lifelink, good against Mono Red. Malira, 2-mana 3-3, it's statted pretty well, it can also be sacked to save one of your other creatures later. Very good in combination with Taxing Thalia and Scroll of Hexproof Protection. Get Lagrilla the Magpie, which is like a Brutal Cathar, but with 3 toughness instead of 2, so it survives Play with Fire. You can also do some uh, pretty funky things like put your own cards underneath if you're if you think your opponent's really about to sweep next turn and then if they kill the magpie you get your own creatures back that's uh pretty gutsy to 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 remove firepower from your own board state but you can do it if you're very confident in that shauna as well three mana three three with lifelink and potential to draw a whole bunch of cards and you can even gain life off other things to trigger her as well like the adversary and then inga and asika on top uh kind of similar it's kind of like an extra knight errant of eos in a way although perhaps a little bit less good you do get the upside of giving all your creatures vision and you can tap them to make extra mana so that's pretty good if you have an adversary in hand already you could put down a quite large adversary um, but whenever you cast a creature spell if three or more mana from creatures was spent to cast it you can draw a card so it's not really synergistic with knight errant it's more like one or the other is good gives you extra knight errants in the deck if you have both around, uh, it's probably better to just Knight Errant, because then you're digging through six cards and grabbing two of them, basically, whereas this would be just draw a single card off the top, which could be a land. So that's the deck. Enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. On the draw. Not great, but plenty of land in the deck. Skrelv. All right. It's Mono White. That's a card. Hmm. Are we soldiers? What are we doing here? No land. Slow land. Do nothing. Swing for one. Maybe they flash in some, uh, some one ones. Yeah, let's go. All right. See if they trade. They don't. That feels like a harbin to me. That feels like a, hey, let's just get, just get a five soldiers and win kind of move. In Otawara, Soaring City. Knight Errants. They will get a two drop though. They lead Skrull back. It's a Valiant Veteran. Feels pretty bad. There's the next land finally. Does anything contend with the Knight Errant? Not really. They're about to make everyone two twos. At least Adeline can hold stuff back. Unless they have the Cathar ready to go. Let's see. You got the Cathar or not? Soldier. Maybe just the 4 4. It's just the 4 4. Alright, we can deal with that. It's weird. They didn't play the veteran before combat. What's up with that? They play it after combat. They could have had an extra point of damage. What were they hoping happened there? Fast land. Well. Vanguard makes the Adeline big enough to trade. Or at least threaten the block. If we attack here, we trade with two of their two twos. I don't know that net's that worth it, except that we have backup Adelines anyway. I think we'll actually go for this. They could have more reinforcements in hand. We have enough Adelines to deploy that I think if we can trade resources at all. Again, they can always just Harbin next turn and just win on the spot. They triple block with a Veteran. I think we'll take the Veteran even though it can come back. What do we want? I guess we want tokens to survive. Then we can Cathara token if we need to. I think that was pretty good for us. We'll end here. We can replay the next Adeline next turn. If we hit land, we can also play Malira, which is a 4-4 that can trade with Knight Errant. I think that was great. I think as you know, as awkward as our start was, I think that's the best thing we could have hoped for there. Zephyr Sentinel is what they have in hand. All right. They return the Knight Errant. So they think they're going to win the long game here, but they're giving us time not to die. I mean, they had like a pretty aggressive start and uh, they're throwing it away a little bit. So here comes Knight Errant. They can only get two drops. So I guess they go get another Valiant Veteran here, basically.
Yeah, there it is. And the reinforcements. So they're going to have a big board next turn. Alright, so they flash in reinforcements this turn. We hit the land. So we can add a line and Malira here. We could also Skrelv and get someone in there. Which probably is not worth it. Although it is interesting. I don't really see that as being worth it. And now we have Cathar top deck protection. So we'll go no attacks here. Did they not have two mana open? In my mind, I thought they had two mana open to flash in the reinforcements. Maybe not. Maybe there was no white. Can't remember. Okay, they play the veteran now. So we could give Adeline protection against white, assuming they attack with a flyer here, which they do. Uh, and then we can jam in for a lot of damage every single turn. We can also just attack with Adeline, offer them the trade again and play backup Adeline again, or just Malira. Yeah, seven damage is still a slow clock. I think we just offer them the regular Adeline trade. And we keep Malira and play the next one from hand. Sure. Okay, here comes Vigilance. I think the 2-2 is fine to go as well, though it's not a bad block. We're going to need blockers this coming turn. Yeah, let's not get too aggressive. Okay, they just take the single trade there. Instead of Malira-ing, I think we'll just play the next Adeline from hand. Alright. Ooh, counter. That's not good. One for each creature. They only have three creatures, right? Did that get countered? Did they create the thing first? Oh, they create the token first. Well, that's unfortunate. Again, they didn't flash in the reinforcements. Were they out of white again? Maybe they were. They could be. I'm not really paying attention, I guess. Okay, wide board. They still have a 3 3 in the air every turn. And the Knight Errant. Alright, that's pretty good. Convoke for five feels unnecessary unless they go get another knight errant and then like, you know, another veteran. It's pretty good. It's another Zephyr and Harbin to win next turn. Okay, so that's game. Unless we stop Harbin right now, that is game. All right, show me the anti-Harbin. It's the land. So the only way to win now is if they block with Harbin somehow. Otherwise, we lose on the spot next turn. So here is our only chance at victory. Please block with your Harbin. That makes total sense. Okay, I will scoop. We do not win. We do not win that game. GG. Mana is weird, but we have a lot of one drops to keep us going for a bit. Let's try a scroll to start. Gend briefcase. Okay. Cathar will be good eventually. The initiate at least gets to the 1-1. One -one. That's all for now. Another briefcase. All right, one one's assembled. We don't hit land. They we don't need Thalia yet, but it's probably better. We can wait one more turn. Their whole thing. I mean, Thalia is going to slow them down a lot, I guess. Thalia is probably the best play. Okay. Takes them a turn off depopulate if they wanted to depopulate. 
but in general just slows down everything they do by a turn. We hit a fast land. We'll take it. Probably Cathar so everyone can get in there. You can always protect Cathar with Skrilf. Get in with these guys. They're another turn off a of Sunfall. Alright, that's what we got. Herd Migration. Get a land, get some life. I guess they can sack these briefcases if they just need to Sunfall early. Let's see if they do. Up to seven mana this turn. Evasion. I mean, they have plenty of mana already at seven, so they don't have a tracks in hand, I'm guessing. That's good to know. I don't think they have a tracks or a sweeper. Probably Vanguard here, Pump Squad. Just getting with as many as possible. Yeah, I think let's go for it. Okay. Take a chump. They could still be setting up for Sunfall, technically. I don't feel the need to overextend with the officer. Officer's great for reloading. Although, if they Sunfall and attract to them, we just lose anyway. There's the Sunfall. We didn't overextend into it, but we'll see if that matters at all. Magpie. Alright, so it's Officer Adeline here. We can Magpie the token next turn, which isn't bad. They get to attack down the Zendikar, though, which is unfortunate. No blocks, they get their Zendikar creature. Still haven't seen a Traxa yet. Draw three. All right, they're digging for it. They're going to get there soon. It's not like we can find lethal this turn. Another invasion. Okay, game's not over yet. I think we take you still. We could hide someone from the next Sunfall, but we just lose if there's another Sunfall. Doesn't really change much. Find a play it out before combat. Okay, just you. They do trade. Seems like another Sunfall to me. It's the Atraxa. So we have the Skrelv to protect the Brutal Cathar, but we have to draw into it. And we don't have enough mana to recruit an officer and play at the same turn. I just have one binding, though. Random Realm Breaker, two mana open. They get a land with haste. I think we need the officer to stand a chance. Say the chump the magpie or give him the 4-4. Four four. I think we just give him the 4-4 four four here. Looking grim. I think if you did not win by turn 5, then you have lost. That ain't it. Again, you can recruit an officer here and look for the Cathar, but it's a little bit too late. We could make someone unblockable against... What color are you? I guess you're colorless because you're land. I'm not sure if it makes them something. Elemental creature doesn't give it a color. All right. So I don't think scroll even helps. So you just have to dig with the officer. But looking like game here.
another elemental. Another invasion. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, it's over. All right? Is it even worth? You get the Cathar, then what? They get the lifelink, so we'll scoop. It's too much. It's too much. It's not worth going on. We'll concede. On the play, we could use one more land. Let's we'll still start with Skrelv. Hello, Zulzino. Mountain Kumano. All right. Fine. Not a land. We got no one really to protect. We'll just get in there with Skrelv. Can't block anyway. Adversary. It's a 3 3. No blocks. And a 16. It's not a land. It is a lifelinker. It's, it's important to protect. We can attack with the officer here. Okay, hold back Skrill to keep Denik alive. Denik can block the Kumano. Skrelv down first. Don't need to give Hexproof against Red on Denik now. Um, I'm happy to take the trade, and if they want to play with Fire Red after combat, that's fine. Just you, no blocks, E3. Land would be good. It's not a land, it is a lifelinker. Do we get in with the Denik? It's going to die soon anyway. I think we do. Take our lifelink where we can get it. Leave back the officer and the adversary to trade. If they have the uh, deal one damage to every creature spell and the festivity, that's going to suck. No, Denik goes down though. Lifelink are dead. What else they got? Please don't be end the festivities. I don't think so though. I think they'll do that first. Lightning strike the other lifelinker. Okay. And we'll trade the officer with the Kumano. They don't offer it. Down to 11. Land would be great. It's not a land. We'll keep attacking because, uh, I mean, Dahlia holds back the Kumano. And if they kill it, they kill it. But we've seen three lightning strikes. And we see the fourth lightning strike now. Definitely blows. <laughs> Whew. 24 land. None of them are here. Take eight. It's brutal. Does Magpie even save us now? Ooh. You have to pay the one to cast it. Oh, that's nice. You may cast any number. That... All right, that's great. Just take six this time. Fantastic. Not that it was a misplay. I mean, I still got a 3-3 out of the deal. Probably just Magpie here. Take one of these guys, hold everyone else back. Adeline's not bad either. Really discourages attacks even more. Maybe it's Adeline instead. Okay, we're alive. And five life. Pun has a lot of land. Mistress Foundry could start powering up too to just try to bash through for the last bit of lethal. Yeah, there's one of them. There's a second. Block three of these. Four damage gets through. Okay, easy block there. Have to do one of these. And we'll take out the Kumano as well. Take four. Magpie takes the last one. We'd have to pay one life for the green, though, so that's not an option. This is so magnificently sad. We don't have we don't have land to do anything. What a brutal game. The only thing we can do is replay Thalia, then we just lose. That's so sad. Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. How brutal is that? That's that's so sad. 
Oh, that sucks. That sucks. We cannot play the magpie. We can play the Thalia, have two blockers back. And then I attack with three things again. And there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. That's it. Damn. That blows. That blows. Stuck on two lands in our 24 land deck. <sighs> on the draw, great looking hand here. We'll keep this. Beachfront property. Okay, we'll go to Scroll of Thalia. It's always very annoying. Especially against a potential control opponent here. Yeah, looking controly to me. A lot of fast lands. Here comes Thalia. We'll hold back Skrull to protect it. Get the taxation going. Opponent loves their tap lands. Another Cathar. Could honestly play it out here. And if they keep doing nothing, flips the night sign. 3 3 isn't bad as an attacker. Basic. Uh oh. All right. Maybe they're like transmogrify. Go get Titan or something like that. Well, we'll go ahead and take their creature at least. In case that is the plan. Some stick. What are we doing with stick? One black. Keep getting in there. We'll play out one of these officers. Still got the backup officer to reload if they do sweep here. All right, let's turn five hold. We got potential adversary pump if they do nothing. Is it Sunfall? It is Sunfall. Great. Good. Excellent. Just as planned. Fastland, we'll take the adversary here. I think better than just using one mana on the uh, officer. Invasion of Zendikar. All right. Yeah, they're doing the rampy thing. Plenty of land. They have a 5-5 five five now. They attack you down. No blocks. All right. Well, you get a 4-4 four four that ramps you further. It's called doing the thing. I think we officer into Brutal Cathars. I think that's all we do this turn. This thing is Vigilance. I guess we can trade here. What's better? Hmm, take nine. Now we're looking for a Cathar and then swing for a lot back. We'll go no blocks here. Down to 11. Is it Atraxa? <laughs> it is. Now we have to burn the Cathar on that. But uh, that's game right there. What do we got? What do we got here? Lightline Binding can kill the Cathar. Archangel can kill the Cathar. Doesn't matter. That's game. Okay. We don't hit it anyway. But that's game regardless. Nothing we can do against this board state. Yeah, and we'll scoop. Okay, next game. All right, thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.